OK, we're discussing <laughs> supermarket packaging. Jeff Street in Swansea, South Wales, says the packaging companies are laughing all the way to the bank. In protest, people should remove all the unnecessary packaging just after buying their shopping. Leave it in the supermarket. And you should have recycling bins in the supermarket. My wife and I have been doing this for over a year now. Our friends have started doing it too. We should have had a, got Jeff on the line. Liz Eldridge in Medway. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, Liz. Hello. Who's- I get really, really cross about packaging. It is a load of rubbish. Voluntary schemes, they need a lot more stick from the government. We are going to be paying the cost. Not only us, Mama. but our children will be paying the cost. We have, we have got to make big, big changes. There are lots of companies not making enough changes. I mean, I, I have collect the packaging and complain to the companies. And the numbers, I phone all the time. I've got ketchup in front of me from the co-op. No recyclable emblem. It needs, the plastic has to have a triangle, which actually states the type of plastic, or it cannot be recycled. What do you find you're buying with, with offensive packaging? I've got ketchup. I've just bought my uh, toothbrush, and it um, comes in part plastic and part paper. The plastic should be stamped to say what type it is so I can separate it and put it away let in me the put right you, areas. Let me put you on to Bob. He's listening to every word. Hey, this Bob. is this is really, really important that some stuff can be recycled and some stuff can't, OK? The retailers have got together and under the BRC, uh, alongside with RAP... Then they need to choose stuff that can be recycled because this is not good enough. This what we've done... really is not good enough and it makes my blood boil... Because it will be my children that have to pay for this. It will be my children. So I have the incinerators choking their environment. So don't you dare say that that is the case because it's not good enough. Okay. It's not good enough. All right, Bob. What we've done is we've we've uh, created this label that will communicate to you whether something is recyclable or not. Okay, in the case of your toothbrush, that is not recyclable. Even if you separate it, the shape of it is not recyclable. The materials recovery facilities cannot handle that shape of material. That comes in should be recyclable. But in many cases, it is, and where that's possible, retailers and brands have done that. Pa- packaging primarily serves the function of delivering the product to you. Okay. Now that's its primary function: recovery, reducing environmental impact. That's lots of stuff that we're doing as part of that. But uh, uh, just thinking about toothbrush, I'm not sure how you would package that in fully recyclable material in a way that's attractive to the consumer, where they can see the toothbrush, they know exactly what they're getting. Okay, Liz, I'll, I'll give the last word to you. Been ways to recycle uh, and do this packaging. My father-in-law did Easter egg packaging cartons for years before any plastic existed. We are not thinking outside the box. Retailers are not working hard enough. People producing this um, packaging um, are not working hard enough, in my opinion. Thank you, Liz, very much indeed, and, and all the best. Nice to have you listening.